today we're out on a catch and cook. It's fall time in Alaska and this is a great time to hunt for grouse and that's what we're going after today. A grouse is kind of like a wild chicken, a little bit smaller than a normal chicken you'd find in a grocery store, but they're still very good eating. So we're gonna head up the trail, see if we can spot any. Made it to a pretty cool river spot and halfway through our grouse hunt it kind of turned into a photo hunt for those caribou so that's pretty awesome. Uh, we've never seen caribou in this area and I don't think we've ever been that close to them. Ariel was able to get some really cool photos so we're going to try to be looking for some grouse on the way back and if we don't see any tonight we're going to pick it up again tomorrow until we find one.
We got our first grouse. We kind of scared him when we were driving down the trail with the Polaris and I shot it in the tree. We couldn't see where it went, but Bandit found it. Good boy. Hen. Yep. Good boy. <laughs> so we probably scared off about 10 uh, when we saw this one and they went down the trail. So we're gonna continue down and see if we can get a few more cause it'd be nice to have a few of these and have a good meal. We've got our second hen here. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can find a spot to build a little campfire and cook them up. All right, we got another one. Nice looking hen. Cool, so we ended up getting three of these grouse to eat. We got two hens and we got one male. He's gonna be pretty easy to clean. We're gonna step on the wings and basically pull the legs and it's all gonna come apart and we'll be able to eat the breast. And that's what we're gonna eat and then we'll give the dogs maybe a breast of their own and the heads and the feet. So the first thing we do before we get these cleaned up is I'm gonna get a little fire started, get some embers built up, that way we can cook them up. Let's get these birds processed. A real easy way to do this. You want to spread their wings, step on them, take their feet, and grab kind of up on their thighs, and then pull straight up. So that is going to be the head and the innards, and then we've got their little legs here, which we're going to cut off and give to the dogs. And then we got these nice breasts. And that's what I'm going to cut out of there, and that's what we're going to be eating. Now that we have the breast meat put aside for us, I was going to get the rest of the birds ready for the dogs. And the grouse right now are eating spruce needles. You can see these are all spruce needles in there. And the dogs can eat everything. They can have, they can eat almost everything. I personally feed them everything but the small intestines and the lower intestines. So I'll just give it to them whole and they can pick what they want. And the bones are fine since they're not cooked. So we're also feeding the dogs the feet and the heads. They can pretty much eat it all, feathers included, if they want. Now that the fire's going, we are going to start on our meal. We've got pretty good meal planned for today. I'm gonna dice up the breast meat and I'm gonna fry it up in some lard and then I'm gonna add some sweet onion to that. And then we're gonna caramelize it. We got brown sugar and salt and pepper. And this morning we made tortillas, so I saved some of the dough. So we're going to put some tortillas on the grill out here. Let's get the cast iron skillet on the fire and get it heated up. All right, the grouse and the onion is all done. I'm gonna take it out of the pan so we can get our tortillas cooked up. So we ended up with more of flatbread-ish than, rather than tortillas, which is fine. They are awesome still, and we're gonna call this grouse fajita since that's what it yeah. resembles most. The onion's super good, it's really sweet, and it's just really, really good grouse meat, really dark and flavorful. Yeah, and the brown sugar, we've never done brown sugar on the grouse. It's gotta be the way to go. It's so sweet, oh, it's so good. 
a lot of times when we usually would cook grouse, we I'd usually tenderize it and I'd put some egg on it and a little flour and fry it up and make sandwiches out of it. But this is probably gonna be the, my new favorite way of doing it. It's really good. So that's it. That's the grouse fajitas. We're calling them. Taco cheers. Taco cheers. I can't even get into this because my vest is so big. Mm. Ah. Ah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's insane. Well, you put something in the dough. So I don't know if it's because we're just really hungry or what, but this has got to be my favorite catch and cook or hunt and cook that we've ever done. This is delicious. This turned out to be a super delicious meal. We're going to get cleaned up and head home. This has been a really awesome trip. We got to see caribou, which was spectacular. So that was really fun. And as always, we're just grateful for a good meal and our dogs got some food. And that is it for today's video. You gotta try that. Do you wanna say how it tastes? Mm -mm. Oh! Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. That's the sweet onion. That smells Smell like it. fajitas. It smells just like fajitas. It's, it's the onion. Throw a little bell pepper in there. Damn! Just a tiny bit. Very far. Yeah! I don't know how big of a loser you were until right now. <laughs> oh. This is delicious though. I mean, this is so good though, seriously. Mm -hmm. Look, the onions. Mm. It's just crazy that they're out here. They're literally eating spruce needles. I know. Mm. <sighs> okay, good. I feel like I have meat right here. Nope. Man! It was like, probably the best thing I've ever had.